Welcome to Shock and Odd Toy Reviews. Three idiots, a camera, two toys, <laughs> and a partridge and a pear tree. Tonight, we are joined by Toast, Wilson, and me, your host, Mr. Berg. Wilson, what the fuck is this? This is the Start third... Start to swear it off right away. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Mastermind Creations third party DZF. DZF. Reformatted for number 42, a.k.a. Uh, IDW Deathsaurus. And if you're paying attention at home, it has been seven days since, since or no, less than seven days since our last NECA break. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So this is him in his alt mode, his what I call dragon, uh, dragon bird mode. Kaiju. Kai, kaiju. Kaiju. Space chicken. Space, Space chicken. chicken. Kaiju. Yeah. Um, or, or robo kaiju. I will say, out of the box, his wings are not attached. They give you a screwdriver and two tiny screws, so be on the lookout for that because you have to attach the wings yourself. That's nice that they give you a screwdriver. Is that this? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, not this piece. So the the blue. Okay. You have to screw into this black piece right here. That's bizarre. Yeah, it's just watch out because the screws are easy to lose. I like that they give you the screws, and I like that they give you the screwdriver, but fuck that. Yeah, exactly. That's my thoughts exactly. Like, I was not happy that I had to do that. I'm like, I'm paying how much for this toy, and then I have to put the damn thing together myself. That makes me fucking nervous, and yeah, I, I didn't want to do it. But do you remember how much you paid? I believe he goes around 150 but he's got a lot of uh, he's got a lot of features and stuff, and he he moves spectacularly uh, in this mode as well. Like he's got wrist articulation in this mode with each finger individually articulated. These arms are on a ball joint. His head can move all kinds of directions and come on tab, but also turn down at the base of the neck there. Uh, his little guy comes off as well. I like that the toes on this are individually articulated. And the toes are... I think that's die cast. You think? That's metal of some sort. Hmm. Yeah. So he's he's got a good heft to him. There is no waist articulation in this mode just because these pieces connect the legs to the top half here. But he still looks good, and he's got some good ratchets in the legs. Yeah, it worked. Which, spoiler, become his arm. It is strange the shield uh, becomes the tail. And I know you're thinking, shield, what? what I am. About? You unfold it, and it becomes a shield that can tab into his shoulder. We'll look at that in robot mode. It's just one of his many accessories. So, there's that. You want to stand them next to some other toys? Sure. So, for uh, sense of scale, we got a deluxe. This is the RC mold, but that's Road Rocket. Uh, that's MMC, right? Rewind? Yep. McFarland's Clown. And for those that are curious, this is Planet X's version of the same character. Uh, it's a little bigger overall. I prefer, personally, the look of this, all, this one in this mode. Better than this, this does look too chickeny for me. Kind of like a fat kind of like dumpy chicken, whereas this looks like a dragon, like a dragon bird. This looks more uniform as yeah. as a character, whereas this is shapes. Yeah. This is this has a lot going on. I would say too much. Yeah. And then you got to have a star saber that scales well with them. And this, for anybody curious, is Planet X's star saber um, IDW version. I think these two pair well together. I have like three star sabers. The others are like 12 and 13 inches, so it's too big. But this guy, especially in robot mode, we'll see, goes well with this guy. I'm super curious to see what he looks like in robot mode. Let's get to it. All right, so here he is in his robot mode. Transformation is fairly simple. Um, I do want to say that there are shoulder problems with this that have been reported, and mine actually had it too. One of them was broken uh, out of the box, um, and the other broke during transformation. It's these pieces here, these hinges, connect 
up here to this thing and there's like springs involved and I don't know how to fix it exactly but uh, allegedly contacting uh, MMC you can get some replacement ones that are better um, I've contacted them um, uh, more to come on that but it's disappointing although it holds up fairly well considering um, so it's not like I mean obviously the arms aren't on the floor right now right you're right it's just they're very loose and they will come undone okay um, but if yeah you can get them and you can get them to stay up it's just annoying and it's frustrating too when you spend that much and then things fucking broken and now I gotta go through getting replacement bars <sighs> I'm gonna have to fix it again or take a look at it but at least it's staying for the moment. Yeah. So he's highly articulated all over. You can get ki all kinds of cool poses. Um, We're just not going to show those because of his arms. Yeah. <laughs> as far as accessories, do you want to start with the, the chest thing? Looks like you want to. I'm going to. So do you want to talk about how he's got tons of paint breakup and tons of paint colors? Do you? Sounds not like anymore. You do. I would like to... <laughs> talk about how this design looks like it's about four years out of date really you think so yeah it matches the idw i think mmc have done far better specifically the djd figures as far as overall cleanliness this mm. looks like a heap really yeah i disagree i think he matches i think he looks pretty badass quite honestly. Although I think that the G1 version looks better still. You got that one on pre-order? Oh fuck yeah, I had yeah. that one on pre-order before this one. Video to come. <laughs> but he's got his little breast master, chest master guy, and this transforms into a flying lion thing. It's actually, it's teeth though, are painted. Nice. Which is pretty impressive right there, and the eyes. Well done. Well, while he's doing that, I will say that it looks fairly accurate to what little I remember him in the comics. I do not remember. He was, he's been more prevalent lately in the IDW stuff since you've stopped reading. Yeah. I think this head sculpt is amazing and probably the best part about the toy. His, his colors are awfully flat. He's got a lot of colors, a lot yeah. of paint, but it, he feels flat. And not in like a metallic cool way, but like I don't know. It's weird. No. Oh. Not broken. <laughs> Definitely lots to look at for sure. Yeah, but not in a way that I want to look at it. <laughs> There he is, transformed. Now he looks like an MMC piece of crap that I own. <laughs> that you own? Yeah, the the Ravage that. Oh yeah. Got like a zero hammer. Or something. Yeah. So he's gappy underneath, but otherwise he's a. I could have sworn this was a bird, but you're saying, is this scuff there before? Probably not. That's probably me messing around with it. Luckily, I got a translucent one with them, too. Oh! Was that the exclusive version? I don't know. I don't think so. Where'd I think I got from uh, Plain Steel Express. Probably. So maybe. I don't know. Uh, so there's that. It's the exact same thing, just translucent blue. And you got his gun. Which he holds well. There's a slot. That is a unfinished gun if I ever yeah. saw. Yeah. And uh, in case you wanted it like his G1 mace, you get an unpainted thing of that. <laughs> so that's fun. At least it's real chain, right? Yeah. You get an alternate face sculpt that you can put on. This is just frowning. Oh, I, I didn't even that. notice that his face was under there. I just thought, yeah, I didn't even see his lips on that one. Um, cool thing you can take they give you a couple of sword holders plug that holder into the back and then this 
and we'll hold the sword on his back. It's a nice looking sword. I'd yep. sure like the look of that sword. We will. I guess we're not allowed. We will in a second. Or there's this holder. I think it's, that's the only place I can think that it would go is on his shoulder. And since you store the shield on his shoulder, what they do? I'm not going to use that. No, thank you. You want to take a look at this sword? Kind of. Yeah. It's got what does that say? It says Berg will rate this a five. That sword looks awesome. I love the design of it. That is not flat. That is not flat. Oh, looks great. God. Yeah, like the gold pieces on them aren't flat, but like the blue. It's like a little muted, yeah. It's the muted, like it's. I don't know. It's like he went and he was like, "Hey, can, can I have some extra gray added to all my paint, dude? <laughs> I'm having a sale on gray. You just want to go all gray? No, no. Let's let's keep let's keep the color breakup. But could you just mix, you know, twenty percent gray in all my colors? Show that. Oh. So the mace can store on the gun. But why would you want that? Because then you could strap it around his shoulder if his shoulder wasn't broken, so he could stow it like a GI <laughs> Joe gun. All right. This guy is a warrior in a million year, millennial year war, right? Yeah, dude. I can't even talk tonight, man. I'm so drunk. I'm not wanting to be here anymore. Planet X's star saber next to him. I think if you're going to have him fight, it's the one you want him to fight. So this is the Planet X Death Source and then the MMC that we've been looking at. And this is much cleaner. It's much more robot looking than this. And his colors are much more striking. Oh, I like that one a lot, but I like his alt mode better. Uh, I, I'm sorry, guys. I prefer this. It what, looks. You, you don't have to apologize for your opinion. I I just don't. I'm surprised. I I thought he was, he's great, just moving around and. I would and rather get... have the MMC sculpt to interrupt because I like to. Yeah. But the Planet X paint. Agreed. I think I would agree with you. Which uh, that's why I think, hopefully, fingers <laughs> no fingers crossed, the G one version that's coming is going to have paints colors sim closer to this. I think. We'll see. Rip it apart, boys. Let's hear it. I don't think I like anything about this, wow. except for the head sculpt. Um, I'm thinking about giving it a two. And I can't even call it technically functional because the arms are broken <laughs> out of the box. Yeah. So. Wow. Uh, I don't like the alt mode. I don't like the robot mode. The. Uh, I don't like just the general chunkiness, all of the visible tabs. And uh, there's just nothing I like about this except the head sculpt. Oh, and, and the sword. The sword's nice, too. Otherwise, I kind of hate it. Which mode do you hate the most? Robot, I think. Okay. And th these are some of the chunkiest, ugliest calves I've ever seen. Is that unattached so you can have more articulation? Is that what's going on there? What, here? Yeah. Uh, no, it just moves real far. And that's part of transformation, and I just use that as like a way to have more articulation. And there goes his arm. Yeah. <laughs> At least I can make you guys laugh with it. I'm going to give this a, a 2.5. I would probably go to a 3 if the shoulders weren't fucked up. Maybe 3.5. I like the design of it better than the other one you, you have but the colors are just way too flat and boring. And I think the washed out colors, it reminds me of a Bayformer because I can't make out mm. what it is because it just all kind of mushes together in one giant grayish paint spot. Okay. If, you, if you can follow what I'm saying. Oh, you can. Uh, the other one, like I can tell where an arm ends and starts and leg are, and this guy looking individually at the arm and leg, okay, but like as a whole, it makes my head hurt to look at it. The face is great once I, and it's even better now that I realize that he has a face underneath the <laughs> crest of his helmet. Um, I love the sword. The sword is the best part of this. Uh, it totally sucks that he's broken in box. Just stop it. Yeah. 
you have to know that that's an issue that is laziness but yeah it's 2022 you know if your product is going to break in the box or broken before it gets in the box yeah um, sometimes there's quality you know one gets through right and one's broken but if they're all have this issue or most have this issue at this point you did something wrong fix it before you ship it. well and i just want to say is they're almost trying to reinvent the wheel like they could have done it so simply especially considering there's a fucking tab hole but no tab goes in there i don't know what it's for but if they had just done that rather than trying to have this button switch that has a spring hidden in this huge armature that you know i'll have to replace if they send me a replacement piece it's just ridiculous it could have just tabbed in and then you would have been fine so sometimes trying to make every transformation different yeah it's not worth it no like, i don't need every transformation to be a unique experience like if you find something that works i don't care like i have never complained about a hasbro transform like oh his arm folds up the same way like, yeah who cares yeah if it looks it's right qu it's quick if it yeah if yeah. it's quick if it looks right in both modes i don't care how you get it you don't have to like yeah. Well, see, we had our, our thermonuclear engineer decide that he <laughs> needed to make a button spring. Why? Well, we had it run on springs, man. You know, we got some gray paint and some springs. <laughs> it was amazing. We went, Steve, yeah? We need you to add this spring button because we got a fuck ton of springs. We already got Gary over here with the gray paint. It's going to look sweet, let me tell you. <laughs> Steve's like, dude, I, this doesn't sound functional. You literally have a tab spot here. You could just, yeah. no, we've done that before on something else that they won't remember. Tabs are so 2010. Yeah. Look, we know this looks like a 2015 figure, yeah, all right. but we want it to have a 2022 articulation and transformation Deal. scheme. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Steve and Gary are like, all right, man, you're paying the bills. Done. Well, I can't top any of that other than to give my thoughts. Uh, five out of five. No, but I'm going. Burp, 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 burp. I'm going four. I with four with the caveat if if the arms were fixed, if they were fine, he'd be getting a four easy. Uh, but he's still fun even with the broken arms to move around. I, I love posing them. I like transforming them. Um, you know, I love the way he looks in robot mode. He'll be my robot death source uh, for the IDW version. He's going to be fighting my Star Saber. And with that, I'm happy. I think the sword looks great. I'm not going to use his gun or mace. Those are disappointing. I think that's like just a kind of shockingly lazy for MMC. Just, yeah. Just give it a little like, spritz yeah, of something. 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 Something is right. Well, thank you for watching this episode. If you got this guy, let us know what you think. Um, did yours break? Did yours break? Uh, did you fix it? How did you get replacement parts? Um, and uh, like, subscribe, comment below. Smash that like button. Smash it. Did you know it turns white when you press it? I did not. Oh, try it out. Yeah, go influence somebody else, man. No, right. Thank you for watching. Broke another NECA. <laughs>